Wesson. Carson Edwards underneath to Isaac. Five. He's never scored against Purdue. This is his fourth game. Carson Edwards has just scored for Purdue. And it's Potter with the rebound. Five and a half minutes without a point, without a bucket for Ohio State on the road. Tate on the run. Tough degree of difficulty, and the first points are on the board for the Buckeyes. Getting back. Yeah, they really are. They have no reason to send too many to the offensive glass, and I think that's what they are. Here you go. Why not? You better capitalize. Jackson does. And it's a one-point game, you know, despite the terrible start. Yeah, Arms the handoff to Edwards. Edwards, Jackson got the steal again. C.J. Jackson with numbers. Jackson, the dump off to Bates Diop in his first two points in his career against the Purdue Boilermakers give Ohio State the lead. Gives Purdue the 9-8 lead. Jackson trying to find some room. Dockage on the baseline. Backs it out. Jalo will try the three, and he hits. Knee pads, a lot of floor burns. Yeah, Brian Carter on the, on the tip-off show. Why not? There's Haas inside the bucket and the foul. Number two on Wesson. I think where he got the catch and Haas was okay if you're Caleb Wesson. The, the other key is you can't allow him to turn to the paint. He missed a couple of games, played great. Now he's feeling well. Andre Wesson gets all the way to the rim and the easy two once he got there. I don't want him to catch it deep. Everything that they do is designed to allow him to catch it deep, especially with that baseline screening action. Nice catch and finish by Kata bates Diop from Andrew Dockett. Like a switched up and you got Matt Arms away from the basket. Duke and Villanova in back-to-back -back for the beleaguered St. John's squad as the pull fights for the three. So you're not chasing the play. Working against Wesson. Wesson's no got a pair no of fouls. double. No double. Haas to work with the hook and it falls. Haas with 12. Bates the off the double team comes. He's in trouble. 10 to shoot. Tate against Haas. Wesson the three. It falls. His second from deep. Got to be firing tonight. It's got to be his night. This is the biggest game of the year. Look, and defensively, you've got to live with the fact that he may make a bunch of those. The lob to Haas. Matthias with the vision to find the big man. Kyle Young, a six foot eight, two hundred and five pound freshman. I mean, Haas just dwarfs him down there. Good play by P.J. Thompson. Edwards finds Carson Edwards for three. <laughs> But this is why Purdue is so tough. You hustle, you hustle, you scramble, and you end up giving up an open three. That's As Purdue will bring it up the floor. I mean, at least Tate is being aggressive. So it's Carson Edwards. He's got 12 to deep two. Instant. So they've gone smaller now. Bates Diop has to back it out. Musa Jallo in the corner. The three falls. A giant shot for the Buckeyes as Jallo has six, both from three. P.J. Thompson with an open three from Haas, but Bates Diop the rebound off the miss. Dodge the bullet there. Can't leave him that open. Gata Bates Diop from the elbow. Fading away. Gets it to drop. He's got eight. There's that clear out driving. Bates Diop against Klein. Five seconds, four seconds, finds Tate, got it over the rim. It's a two-point game, and halftime is here at Naki Arena. Clear out the space, there's no way Ryan Klein can guard him without enough help. The defense sags in, and he makes the right pass. Jay Thompson back to Carson Edwards. All those red shirts back. Great transition defense. Haas to the rim, an easy two for the big man. Give it to Potter, now 10 to shoot. Tate. Going to work against Edwards. The dump down to Potter for the flush. We're tied at 33. In the first half, Tate was forcing that shot. Much better decision. If Jay Sean Tate's going to the right, Isaac Cost doesn't help. But to the left, Jay Sean Tate can make that shot, so you got to commit. The dude really needs to get Vincent Edwards going here. Still scoreless. Been their leading scorer in Big Ten. Matthias the three ball. <laughs> Jay Sean Tate, if he's going to his left, you've got to help out. But if Isaac Haas is going to be a screener, all you got to do is stand there, Isaac Haas, and you're going to get guys open. Edwards with five to shoot. Got the screen from Harms. The three goes down. It's the uh, makes tough shots. That's what he does. I think he needs to hunt it more. Vincent Edwards, first bucket of the night. I'd be going to that well all night long. I don't care if it goes in. Hose him down. You better hose.
knocked him down. This is the kind of guy, if you let him get going, he's going to be able to create enough spot space to get shots off. And the three-point shot was what Ohio State was able to contain in the first half. So far, not able to do it in the second. Well, it's super small against a big physical team. Edwards around the screen, and Carson Edwards. Who paid a big deal? Jackson, the deep three, off the heel. Jallo had the rebound, taken away by Klein. Klein up the floor, the bounce to Edwards to the rim. He's got 26. Off for Edwards. Stockic, the push. Jallo wide open. And Musa Jallo. No, look, he's not going to look to go to the basket. Also, that looked pretty cool. He sees it. He just looks off Musa Jallo, finds him in the corner, and again, confidence. And Ohio State continue to chip away. Tate looking for Bates Diop. Matthias cloaking wow. him, but what a finish by Kata Bates Diop. Let's go back to that Kata Bates Diop play. It's our BTN standout presented by Discover. Look, presence of mind, understanding where you're at, good body control, knowing that if you bring it down, you're going to have to deal with Isaac Haas. You just can't say enough about the poise and control of the game. Kata Bates Diop, uh, he's an absolute pro. The injured Buckeye, Jay Sean Tate, is still down on the other end. It's five on four. Here's Vincent Edwards. The three! Jallo looking for Bates Diop. Good catch. Got the finish. Four minutes to play. CJ Jackson around the Wesson screen. Back it goes to Wesson. Rotation around the Duckage. One point game. Gotta go to work. Five to shoot. Jackson, the wow. fake, the floater, rolls all the way around at home. And I think this is a great timeout again for Matt Painter. You want to make sure you get ball movement. That's the thing. That's what helps. You call timeout, you get ball movement. Wesson, he'll fire. Bakes it home. Andre Wesson using the window to give the Buckeyes the two-point lead. This is where I think trying to feed it inside the paint too much is actually getting produced stagnant. Vincent That's Edwards, a tough bucket, and the foul. The offense has gotten stagnant to the point where you're just trying to feed Isaac Haas. The ball movement hasn't been there, a lot of standing, and Vincent Edwards is just able to make a play. In Mackey, trying to win it for the Buckeyes. Tate to work, Jay Sean Tate on the drive, no, the tip won't go, Bates Diop is there, tips it in with 2.8 seconds to go, Buckeyes by one, and a timeout by did, Purdue. Did Andy Katz not just say it? it? A lot of times it's not the first one, it's the second shot. Got to catch the ball on the fly, but this is tremendous, great contest, but again, everybody just runs to the basketball and Kata Bates Diop. I'm not sure what they're looking at, probably just a clock issue at the moment. Good start to Jason Tate forcing the rotation. Wow. And Vincent Edwards was able to get a one hand on it, but didn't go up with two. Goss is an outlet at this point. They need a bucket here with 2.8 seconds or their streak is over. Matthias has got to get it in. The long pass inbounds. Haas with the catch. Haas the fadeaway. No! And Ohio State is the leader in the Big Ten Conference with three weeks to play. They knock off Purdue 64-63, ending the Boilermakers' 19-game winning streak.